Hey guys, I made this Nigerian yummy fried rice. Guys, let me introduce you to how I made this recipe in one bit. Your one stop shouldn't be your last, so make sure you subscribe, like, share. So guys, for this fried rice recipe, we'll be needing rice. This is local rice. It's called Big Bull. Next up, we'll be needing onion. This is one large onion. I've sliced, diced it into fine size. We'll need liver. I've diced it, so we'll need carrots. I'll be using shrimps. It's optional. Green pea. Sweet corn. Lettuce, which is optional too. Let me continue showing you the rest of the ingredients. Next up, we'll be using seasoning cube. I'm using the Maggi seasoning. This is green beans. Here we have spring onions and green pepper. I have my curry, I have salt, I have bay leaves, my vegetable oil, thyme, light soy sauce, and lastly, butter. Any other thing I'm going to be using, I'll be showing you the course of the video, so keep on enjoying the video. Firstly, I want to toast my rice, so I went in with vegetable oil in a clean pan. Next up, I went in with onions and sauteed it for some few minutes. Then I went in with minced garlic and ginger. Toasting your rice gives it more flavor. It also enables it not to go bad on time and it allows the rice grain to stand individually. I added curry and I just stirred everything to combine. After a few minutes, I went in with my washed rice. This rice has been properly washed. It has not been parboiled before. And I just started stirring everything to combine. You want to keep stirring this until it looks like something like this. Then I went in with seasoning cube and I kept on stirring it for it to combine properly. Guys, can you hear the sizzle? Yeah, it is ready to take in the meat stock and water. Remember, this rice has not been parboiled, so you have to add enough water to cook it until it's tender. Off camera, I added bay leaves and I covered the pot and brought it to a boil. So guys, the rice is about 70% done. So I went in with butter for shine and I just added it and covered the pot and brought it to a perfect boil. Once the rice is ready, you fluff it and you set it aside. In another pan, I went in with a little bit of vegetable oil. I want to use the vegetable oil to fry my liver. I don't want to waste vegetable oil, so I'll just pan fry it in this pan until it's something like this, then I'll set it aside. So guys, if you're new here, I think it's time you consider subscribing to my channel. You're going to enjoy it here. I do recipe videos and also lifestyle content. In another pan, I added vegetable oil. Then I went in with my prawns and fried it until it was golden brown. This is the pan we're also going to use to fry the other veggies. And you want this prawn to release its juice and yumminess inside this pan. Guys, guess what? All of them are beginning to understand their assignments and they know why they are here because they must marry that's the end result they have to marry it's ready you set it aside and I'll go in with additional vegetable oil because the oil has reduced then I would add in my onions and let's start the cooking process in completion not in full again in completion I went in with my onions sauteed it for some few minutes then I went in with my minced garlic and ginger and I started adding my veggies. I went in with carrot first, then I went in with my runner beans and I just stirred everything to combine. Guys, like I always say, I add my vegetables on how they can withstand heat. So please do you because guess what? Your meal is unique to just only you. <music> After that, I'm going in with my dry ingredient, curry, thyme, rosemary, salt, and seasoning cube. I'm adding a little because the rice has been seasoned, so you don't want to do too much that you will not come out with a very salty fried rice. I have a recipe where I prepared fish fried rice, and I used natural ingredients, 
to achieve a very vibrant fish fried rice i will leave it in the card so you check it out next up i went in with my green pea and i just stirred everything normally i will add my green pea at first but this one is frozen green pea that's why i'm adding it at this point so i'll just stir everything together to combine next up i'll go in with my fresh freshly sliced pepper guys i like my food to have spice so please if you don't like your food spicy avoid this step i will stir everything to combine I will introduce my liver back to the pan. I will also reintroduce the prawn back to the pan. Then I will add sweet corn to it. Then I will stir everything to combine. So if you watch up until now and you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly join the family. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it here. And to my returning subscribers, once again, kisses on all your cheeks. I appreciate you stopping by and I don't take your love for granted. camera i reduced the veggies and i decided to start, i started adding the rice i also removed the prawns to it because you don't want it to overcook at this point you want them to marry release their juice to each other but at the same time you don't want the prawns to overcook if that makes sense i'm adding my rice in badges after this i would pan fry the two of them together for it to properly marry know themselves understand the assignments and just know why they are here guys i'm just going to take my time stir this and make sure that they are properly combined as you can see the rice is not soggy i used local rice so it's not soggy the local rice i use is the company name is called big boom this is not a sponsored ad i'm just telling you that the rice is good after a few minutes of stirring together i would now introduce my green pepper and my spring onions i'm adding this lastly because i want them to taste very fresh and i also like i earlier said i add my vegetable on how they can withstand heat i went to my lettuce i also went in with my light soy sauce and i will just tear everything together again for it to combine marry and understand why they are here guys this rice is filled up with flavor freshness everything you can think about this is your perfect nigerian fried rice it is looking so yummy looking so ready <laughs> oh, guys and guys let me introduce you to goodness and mercy shall follow me are you seeing how fresh this looks so if you watch up until now thank you for watching and i will see all of you beauties in my next video bye